Hi, this is Graham Bell. I'm speaking with Pranav Ashar, Chief Technical Officer at Real Intent. Hi, Pranav. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, we were talking about some of the issues uh, with SOC design off camera. Um, what are some of the highlights uh, that you'd like to bring out to the, our audience today? Yes, SOC design is, as we know, about assembling uh, and integrating lots of IP uh, into a single chip. Uh, but it's a lot more than just, just wiring the IP together. Uh, there are layers of complexity that get added uh, in the SOC on top of the basic IP functionality. Uh, and, and, uh, and the verification problem is about uh, verifying those additional layers of complexity more than just uh, the baseline functionality. So some of the, uh, the layers I'm talking about that have bubbled up uh, to a, a front and center in, in the verification flow uh, are things like asynchronous and synchronous uh, interfaces on chip. Uh, the chip is full of them. Uh, timing constraints, uh, which are a precursor uh, to any verification that happens uh, in the RTL, uh, the interface is included. Uh, the clock distribution network, uh, the initialization scheme, a power management schemes and DFT and things of that ilk, which basically are relevant to actually uh, uh, to integrating uh, the IP to spec, uh, and the verification of that is important uh, in the context of executing on that integration to a deadline. Uh, and as we know, these deadlines are aggressive, and and there's a lot of pressure on these companies uh, competing against each other on this kind of integration and on the teams inside them to execute in a predictable manner. So one of the things that has uh, a truly bubbled up uh, our front and center in this uh, uh, in this context is the verification of the initialization scheme, uh, and uh, uh, it's it's important both in uh, terms of the power up initialization uh, as well as in terms of the initialization on a dynamic basis as 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 part of the power management scheme. Why is checking for initialization so hard? Uh, to start with. Uh, uh, you have an SOC with uh, a billion gates, so lots of uh, flip-flops to initialize. Uh, and so there's a lot of analysis, uh, uh, there's a lot of raw analysis that needs to happen to make sure all of that is, uh, is correctly initialized. Uh, and also, it's a collection of IP, and all of this IP uh, basically brings in a different uh, initialization schemes, and each IP basically has its own scheme. And so, so you have lots of uh, waveforms, and they interact with each other, and all of this analysis has to happen in this context. So, so it's a non-trivial problem. Uh, and then the other uh, sort of more than that some basic raw problem is uh, the reality that uh, that wiring a reset a line to every single flop uh, in a billion uh, a gate design is suboptimal, and nobody wants to do it. So uh, you have to. Uh, live with a paradigm in which uh, you route uh, your resets to a few of these the millions of flops uh, and then the rest of the flops have to get their initialization through the actual logic in the circuit. So it has to sort of bubble through that logic. S so the upshot of that is that in order to do the correct initialization, you've got to actually bring in the non-trivial RTL code into the actual initialization and the analysis of it in simulation. Uh, and since we're talking about reset and initialization, uh, the uh, the state of the system is is full of X's. Uh, and it's been known for some time uh, that there's a man-made problem out there that the simulation in the context of X's is, is incorrect uh, in certain situations. So it can be both uh, a pessimistic uh, in the sense that it can, uh, it can convert a legitimate zero or one into uh, an X incorrectly, uh, or it is optimistic in the sense that it can convert a legitimate X, uh, uh, something that is not known, into a zero or one uh, when it should not have. So the analysis of uh, of the initialization of uh, 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 this big design with lots of different recent waveforms uh, in the context of this uh, uh, this further. Uh, uh, layer of difficulty is a very hard problem. Uh, the importance of this problem calls for a solution that addresses uh, this problem uh, uh, based on first principles and is able to give uh, the user a believable uh, sort of a reset audit, if you will, 
and, and the confidence to go to the next step uh, in the design cycle. What is the solution? So the solution of record has been uh, uh, to use gate level simulation. So the way I think about simulation is that when you don't uh, really understand a problem, uh, you fall back to simulation. And that's what's been happening in this, uh, this initialization scheme uh, verification and the bigger X analysis uh, context. Uh, uh, people have known that uh, that RTL simulation is inaccurate, you can miss bugs. And so the fallback has been gate level simulation. And not enough bad things can be said about gate level simulation, uh, if you don't mind my uh, being blunt. Uh, uh, to start with, it is very slow. Uh, uh, it can take weeks uh, to initialize a, a reasonable size design in, in gate level simulation. So, so right there, it's sort of a non-starter. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's simulation, so it's not complete. So it doesn't give you the full, uh, 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 the full scope of problem that you might have in the design. Uh, and then in the context, uh, the context of X's, uh, once you have the design at the netlist level, a simulation is going to err on, on the side of pessimism. So you're going to have uh, lots and lots of X's in your simulation uh, that you didn't really need to have. Uh, and so this, uh, this exercise of uh, zeroing in on the, uh, on the actual problem at hand is, uh, is going to require that you first uh, uh, Sort of noodle through all these X's, and and it's a monstrous overhead, as our customers have told us. Uh, and given the deadline pressures and so on, it's also a recipe for missing the real uh, problem in your design. So gate level simulation is sort of uh, is sort of becoming uh, uh, quickly a, a non-starter for this problem. So our approach at Real Intent is is different, and it's an approach that we followed. Uh, for a lot of problems that we uh, try to solve. And that is that we understand the problem uh, to the core uh, and we provide a solution that sort of makes sense. Uh, and in the problem uh, in the sort of initialization uh, verification basically starts with bad RTL. Uh, and, uh, and that's where uh, the analysis sh should start. Uh, and, 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 and basically it's gonna be more efficient to start there and it's also gonna be better uh, for the user to debug the problem once it is found, if you start there. So, so we have a product called Ascent XV, uh, and then to start with, it does a sort of an audit of the RTL code itself. So it, it points out to the designer, the code fragments in the RTL, uh, there are uh, likely to be prone to uh, uh, pessimism and optimism related problems. Uh, and, and the user gets a nice, uh, sort of report uh, that captures all of these uh, these potential issues in the RTL. Uh, and then the user can choose to fix them at that uh, that level itself uh, if the user chooses to. Uh, and uh, 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 then as a companion to that, uh, we have a formal analysis of the initialization uh, that is X accurate. And so it it, uh, it tells you if a flop in your design is truly initializable or not, and it gives you the uh, the initialization value that the flop is going to get. Uh, and uh, uh, further, it uh, it computes for you a a minimal set of flops, uh, and that uh, that if you uh, uh, set values on using a, a reset line physically connected to it, uh, will lead to a full uh, a full initialization of your whole design. So, and the turnaround for this all, the, uh, the structural report, the reset audit, uh, uh, and this optimization uh, that gives you the minimal set of uh, flops to reset uh, physically or explicitly uh, to get the full, uh, the full initialization uh, is very quick. So, so one of the ways in which uh, this tool can be used is actually uh, because of the turnaround, you can use it to explore uh, various uh, schemes to uh, get your full initialization uh, with an optimal uh, scheme, uh, both in terms of uh, the number of flops uh, that you actually uh, uh, send a reset line to, and in terms of uh, the layout of uh, the reset network and so on. So, so it's, it's, it's very powerful. It gives you uh, uh, the problems at the, uh, at the root cause level. 
Right, does a formal analysis, so the X optimism and pessimism become non-problems. And it has a quick turnaround, so it, it lets you explore and optimize. So, and I believe that this a solution of this nature is needed for this problem, and, uh, and we are seeing customers uh, come to us, uh, and, 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 and we are seeing resonance between uh, the solution we are providing and the customer's needs. How does power management affect this uh, initialization and X problem? Yeah, power management is, uh, in addition to X, is, is the other elephant in the room. And, and what it does to this problem is that it makes it uh, uh, more urgent because uh, power management is, is, is pervasive. Uh, and it also makes it dynamic in the sense that uh, the reset analysis, uh, the initialization analysis, uh, 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 now needs to be done not just in the one context of the power on reset, but in a dynamic context. Basically, there are multiple situations under which a block uh, uh, might have to have a bring up happen on it. And, and for all those various situations, uh, we need to be able to establish that uh, when the block uh, goes through the bring up cycle, uh, that it's, it, 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 it comes out of it in the correct state. So it's a, it's a, it's a multi-dimensional problem, a more urgent problem, and a more dynamic problem. Uh, and then the other side of it is also, of course, that a power managed circuit uh, is not just going to have uh, a reset uh, lines going to flops. Uh, it's also going to have a retention flops. Uh, that during the power down phase, the, uh, the retain uh, uh, information to bring the block up uh, into a proper state. Uh, and so the initialization analysis, it must now happen in the context of the reset. Uh, as well as the retention uh, uh, flops, uh, and uh, and of course we recognize that, and so uh, uh, the Ascent XP product has uh, uh, the ability to analyze you bring up uh, uh, in the context of sort of both of these uh, uh, facilities that you have uh, how to bring the block up correctly. Pranav, thanks for speaking with us about the reset initialization problem for uh, SOCs. Uh, uh, thanks, Graham. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, this is a very important problem that we just talked about, and we'd like people to know that there are solutions out there uh, that go uh, way beyond what uh, gate-level simulation offers you, and we'd be glad to, uh, to talk to anybody who wants to learn more about it.